The OnePlus 10 Pro has launched globally, but did you ever wonder why the OnePlus 10 never launched? Because the Oppo Reno 8 has leached its design. Welcome to yet another episode of Retech, where we talk about this week's most important news and some silly ones along the way. By the way, my name is Ashad. You're watching Track and Tech English. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. And stay tuned till the end. I want to have a heart to heart conversation with you guys. It's very important till the end, right? So the leaked design of the Oppo Reno 8 looks a lot like the OnePlus 10 that never happened. It has a very similar design to the OnePlus 10 Pro with that stovetop camera module minus that Hasselblad branding, of course. And we've got confirmation already that this phone is definitely coming to India soon. We don't know much about all the specs of the phone, but what we do know or what we do know from the leaks is that the Reno 8 will come with an FHD plus 6.55 inch display with 120Hz resolution, which seems to be the standard now. What also seems to be standard on the phone is that 50 megapixel IMX766 sensor by Sony, which seems to be BBK's favorite this year. So it looks like OnePlus integrating with Oppo is also resulting in both of these brands sharing the design. But you know what? It's been happening for a long time. It's just that we've not taken notice of that fact. For the second news of the day, Realme launched a bunch of products yet again. We got the Realme GT2 Pro, the Realme 9 4G, uh, the Realme Book Prime and the Realme Buds Air 3 on the same day. But of course, the marquee product the feature product out here is that Realme GT2 Pro, which we've covered extensively in our review, which you should definitely go and check out. Now, this is a premium flagship phone with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 120Hz display, LTPO 2.0 panel, 50 megapixel triple camera setup, the works. Also, this is actually a pretty good phone and the design incorporates this paper-like pattern and texture on the rear, which feels really nice to hold. And the second phone is the Realme 9 4G, which is a 4G phone with Snapdragon 680 processor and a 108 megapixel camera inside it. Now, there was some confusion around, but the Snapdragon 680 doesn't support 108 megapixel cameras. Well, I did ask Realme about it and they mentioned that they're working closely with Qualcomm to actually integrate a 108 megapixel camera support on the Snapdragon 680. And I know, I know, I know, I know you guys are waiting for that Realme Buds Air 3 review. I'm working on it and I'm going to be doing something really interesting with it. So stay tuned for that one too. And for that, you need to hit that red subscribe button. And in this week's WTF headline is that Elon Musk has joined the board of directors at Twitter. God, these Enfields. And this week's WTF headline is that Elon Musk has joined the board of directors at Twitter. But that's not the WTF news. The news is that, forget regular people, even the employees at Twitter are worried about this move. And the reason for that is primarily because Elon Musk is a free speech absolutist. And some employees under anonymity told Reuters that they're worried that years of moderation that has helped create healthy discourse on Twitter could be undone if Musk intervenes. However, Twitter has clarified that the board doesn't make any policy decisions. See, I'm okay with Musk being on board as long as Donald Trump is not reinstated. We don't want that buffoon on Twitter. All right, WWDC time. Apple has confirmed that WWDC is actually happening in June from June 6th to June 10th, and it is going to be an online only event once again. Honestly, I doubt that we'd see any hardware launches at this event, but there could be some announcement around the AR VR product that, you know, Apple could be coming out with. But then again, this is just pure speculation. But what we know for sure is that iOS 16, iPadOS 16, tvOS 16, macOS 13 and watchOS 9 could all be showcased at the event. And of course, I'm going to be downloading the beta versions and testing it out for you. If you followed my work, you know that I've always scraped that Android flagships are really powerful, but the games don't really match that power. But you know what? After the success of games like Fortnite, PUBG and COD, a lot of multiplayer games are coming in 2022. I've spoken a lot about Apex Legends already. It's in early access in certain countries and I've started playing it and it's fantastic. I can't wait for everybody to start playing it. But there is news about two more games coming and I'm super excited. The first 
फर्स्ट वन इज अ लीक वैलोरेंट इज कमिंग सूट टू मोबाइल एज वेल एंड माई गॉड वैलोरेंट इज अ फैंटेस्टिक गेम एंड इज करेंटली अवेलेबल ओनली ऑन पी सी एंड फॉर इट टू बी पोर्टेड टू मोबाइल वुड बी फैंटेस्टिक लेट सी हाउ इट गोज बट अर्ली स्क्रीन शॉट्स आर अवेलेबल यू कैन सी दैट ऑन स्क्रीन राइट नाउ and again that's been officially announced and the trailer is out too and it's looking absolutely gorgeous and that is rainbow 6 mobile for iOS and Android it's going to be very similar to the PC game in terms of gameplay you'll have attackers and defenders and of course you'll play as either attackers or defenders the game will of course offer brand new gameplay control system tuned specifically for mobile and optimization for mobile SOCs and a brand new customization in menu screen as well all of this is great but i can't wait for the beta to land so at least i can download the apk and start play are you guys excited for these games let me know in the comment section below so tata showcased a new prototype ev called curvy i think the dudes who actually named the product named it after me curvy curvy <laughs> bad joke let me it looks so futuristic it looks so good almost like it wasn't inspired by tesla cyber truck <laughs> come on Now as for the car itself it's going to be slightly longer than the sub 4 uh, you know category of compact SUVs and that will give it more space for the battery and extended range of 500 km. Now Tata claims that it will go into production in 2024 and it will carry forward all of the design that you see in you know the concept unit. I don't think that it's going to be the exact same but even if it comes close like the Harrier did it will look extremely good. What do you guys think? For the final news of the week, OnePlus cannot catch a break of these Nord twos exploding again and again and again. Another user took to Twitter saying that the Nord two exploded. It was completely charred, as you can see from the images. It was of course rendered useless, but thankfully it didn't hurt anyone. It did burst in his hand, so he actually took it to the Connaught Place store in Delhi, but they refused to take his claim. It's really scary that so many Nord twos are exploding over and over again. I really hope that OnePlus can find a solution for it. All right, so that's it for this week's episode of Retech. But before we leave. I wanted to discuss something with you guys and that's the fact that we've been doing so many retech episodes this is the 12th one and we've been working very very hard on them but the views which matters a lot on YouTube is not that great it's not great on traction but we're putting in a lot of effort and though whoever's watching it seems to like it but we're wondering if we should put in that much effort on this show or if you guys would like to see something else instead if you do Let me know in the comment section below. I might even put up a poll on the community to see what kind of content that you guys prefer, so we can figure out the future of retech. And you know what? This could very well be the last one. So maybe this is goodbye to retech. Maybe or maybe not. Until next time, keep tracking and stay safe.